before MapReduce, the large scale data processing was very difficult. What was the issues that people were facing? It was very difficult to manage hundreds or thousands of processors. If you talk about a very big machine, the monster machines, it is very expensive and tons of problems that was not really solvable on the monster machines, just a single machines. And if you talk about old distributed computing frameworks, again, it was very difficult to manage hundreds or thousands of nodes. Guys, I'm talking about issues people were facing before MapReduce came into the picture. It was very difficult to manage parallelization and distribution of data as well as algorithm. Movement of petabytes of data is not really feasible. It was not really manageable. Apart from that, I.O. scheduling, status and monitoring of the work that is going on parallelly or sub-work that is going on parallelly was very difficult. One of the most challenging thing was the fault tolerance. Say for example, out of 100 nodes, if one node fail, then my work that is currently going on should not fail. And the fail node, just one single fail node should not affect remaining 99 nodes. Guys, due to all such issues, distributed computing framework didn't came into mainstream. But with the introduction of MapReduce, with the introduction of Hadoop, all of these issues has been resolved. Because these are the features that MapReduce provides. So guys, with the help of Hadoop, distributed computing is coming into mainstream in IT. Let's talk about MapReduce. MapReduce is the programming model or paradigm for processing of large amount of data in parallel. MapReduce is developed to process huge volumes in parallel. MapReduce works very well even on the commodity hardware. How exactly MapReduce works? It divides the work into set of independent tasks. I'm having a very big problem. How to solve that? divide that problem into sub problems and solve them independently that's the funda of map reduce we'll discuss this particular point also in great details we already discussed about the hadoop hadoop cluster so map in map reduce also there will be lots of nodes that will be working in parallel to process the data so guys, today we know Google is the mother of all the inventions. So MapReduce programming model is also invented by Google. It is derived from functional programming. Very old funda, very old concepts, which was there in the industry from uh, 90s. So guys, there are two functions. One is the map function and second is the reduce function. Map reduce. Actually, these are the two phases of MapReduce which are which which is combined together and called as MapReduce. So map phase is having map function and reduce phase is having reduce function. So guys, this functional programming actually processes list of data. Data is arranged in the form of list or given as an input in the form of a list. How exactly this list will look like, we'll discuss in great details later. MapReduce can be implemented in multiple languages. Java, in which actually MapReduce or Hadoop is developed, so recommended language is Java. But yes, you can develop in uh, MapReduce code in C, C++, Ruby, Groovy, Perl, Python, etc. 